this is one of the vertical rolling uh, example uh, is it is it means uh, that elevation moment plus or minus like this. Uh, here north uh, opposite side south and east west this is uh, mentioned in all isometric drawing and vertical position we called as a z okay uh, here one on our line is going from um, down to up how you know this line is going to up that is means vertical uh, you see the flow direction here it is a flow direction and it is going to uh, up and here some elbow then you have to see the this hatch hatch mark this hatch mark have the vertical lines this is a vertical lines so this is called a vertical rolling and how much it is going vertically vertically and which direction how do you know you know the north this is a north just you, you imagine this direction should come here means our line this hatch line is going to east east 650 mm going to east so after that it's going to vertical 650 mm it's going to vertical so our line it, it's may be going to 650 east and vertically 650 but here in a drawing it's connected uh, from this point to and this point so this is the rolling area so you have to uh, roll the pipe uh, vertically and upward 650 mm this is uh, this rolling is at east side so here only one only one uh, vertical rolling only here mentioned next horizontal rolling here one of the example horizontal rolling drawing here uh, same north south east west and z z means elevation vertical up and down plus minus uh, so in our drawing uh, it's uh, coming from uh, down side to up side and uh, this line is going to east this is east direction so this is going to east So how to understood this hatch line and uh, which direction it will be going and how much? How do you know? Uh, so uh, same similarly what I told before. Uh, you just imagine uh, this direction should come here means this is south. So south and this one east. So uh, this line 600 mm it's going to south and 600 mm it's going to east. So this rolling. in between south and east it's coming okay uh, now clear we are uh, rolling uh, it's in between south and east it's going to south 600 mm and east 600 mm so you have to connect this line in between um, 1039 mm you have to connect the rolling this is the rolling area so at the time of fabrication and uh, this elbow may be 45 degree this one also 45 degree means Uh, you have to take the elbow center of 45 degree and the elbow center of this 45 this elbow and minus both uh, elbow center uh, then you will get this distance pipe length spool length you will get the spool length next vertical and horizontal rolling is both rolling at one place from down side and uh, here on elbow and uh, the, this elbow only have both rolling uh, have a vertical and horizontal so we have to calculate both uh, this elbow how how many mm you have to roll in horizontal and how many mm you have to up in vertical uh, so first we will consider horizontal rolling uh, so how many mm mm you have to roll the pipe and which direction we have to calculate uh, so uh, imagine this coordinates to move this elbow area our gauge line is going to south 650 mm and it's going to east 650 mm so our line it's going between south and east so we know the 650 and 650 so we will calculate how many mm we have to move this elbow already i give a calculation uh, for this uh, rolling movement uh, refer that video then next triangle that is a vertical so this elbow how many mm we have to vertically up so here they given 650 mm so now consider this triangle so 1126 mm and here and 650 mm here and 1300 mm so here given 650 mm you have to vertical so that time by using this measurement you have to calculate this elbow degree how many mm you have to up i hope this video may be useful and uh, you may be understand uh, vertical and horizontal rolling 
in mention in piping isometry and um, i will make a rolling elbow degree uh, calculation in, in future videos thank you thanks for watching